Welcome back to Terra Mater Gardens. In today's plant profile, we'll be exploring Beard, Tongue, Dark Towers, a stunning perennial prize for its striking dark foliage and tall spikes of tubular flowers. Beard, Tongue, Dark Towers is a hybrid cultivar resulting from the crossbreeding of Penstemon digitalis and Penstemon husker red. This unique lineage gives it its distinctive dark purple foliage and vibrant pink flowers. Beard Tongue Dark Towers is a relatively recent introduction to the horticultural world, developed by breeder Dale Lindgren in the early 2000s. It belongs to the Penstemon genus, which is native to North America, and includes a diverse array of species known for their showy flowers and drought tolerance. Dark Towers is ca characterized by its upright growth habit and dramatic foliage. The leaves are lance-shaped and emerge with a deep burgundy hue that intensifies in full sun, creating a striking contrast against the landscape. In early summer, tall spikes adorned with tubular flowers rise above the foliage, opening to reveal clusters of vibrant pink blooms that attract pollinators like bees and butterflies. To thrive, Beard Tongue Dark Towers prefers full sun to partial shade and well-drained soil with average fertility. It is relatively drought tolerant once established, but benefits from regular watering during dry spells, especially in hot climates. Mulching around the base of the plant helps retain soil moisture and suppress weeds. Deadheading spent flowers can prolong the blooming period and encourage additional flushes of blooms throughout the season. Dark Towers makes an excellent focal point in perennial borders, mixed plantings, and cottage gardens. Its vertical growth habit and dark foliage provide a striking backdrop for a variety of companion plants including ornamental grasses, cone flowers, rutabecas, and salvias. Consider planting it alongside silver foliage plants or other perennials with contrasting flower colors for a dynamic and visually appealing garden display. Dark Towers lends itself to a variety of garden settings and landscaping applications. It works well as a specimen plant in garden beds or containers where its dramatic foliage and colorful blooms can be showcased. Additionally, it attracts pollinators to the garden, making it a valuable addition to wildlife-friendly landscapes and pollinator gardens. Whether planted in Masse for mass effect or used as an accent plant in mixed borders, Dark Tower adds texture, color, and vertical interest to any outdoor space. Be thanks for for watching today, be sure to subscribe for more gardening tips and plant profiles.